Adelaide has a number of amazing hiking trails. Although one of the best walking trails in Adelaide, if you're interested in spectacular ocean views, is the Hallett Cove Boardwalk, which is also called the Marion Coastal Walking Trail. Located a half an hour drive from the city center, the walk is about 5 kilometers in length one way, or 10 kilometers return, and takes about one and a half hours to complete. The boardwalk boasts amazing views of the rugged coastline and reef platforms, with many pathways that descend right down to the shore. While following the coastline, you'll leave the city and enter the Hallett Cove Conservation Park itself where you'll be treated to one of Australia's most important geological and archaeological sites. The area was once home to 1,700 Aboriginal artefacts and showcases unique natural features that were formed 280 million years ago during the Australian Ice Age. So join me on an immersive walk as we start in the city, travel the boardwalk, explore the coastline, and take some aerial pictures before diving into natural history. It's kind of an ominous way to begin our hike. Looks like we're gonna have to do this without any alcohol. I shouldn't joke about that though, snakes can definitely be dangerous, although I haven't seen any walking along this trail before. I have seen them on the other trails around Adelaide, although never, never along this one. If you do encounter a snake, it's best not to bother it or touch it in any way. Uh, that's when most bites occur. And definitely a good idea to warn other hikers that you see and also you can contact a removal service. Okay, let's get on with the hike. strikes me as amazing is that I haven't seen many people along this trail at all. This is Tuesday on what's a pretty beautiful day, but if you come on a weekday you can almost have this place to yourself. Now coming down here, this looks like the perfect place to explore a little more, maybe have some lunch and get out the drone and take some aerial pictures and videos.
So now we're entering Halle Cove itself, which is one of the best known geological sites in Australia. It includes a great interpretive walking trail, as you can see by these signs here, and it describes the cultural and geological heritage of the region, including evidence of the Australian Ice Age some 280 million years ago. This is actually the site where Australia would have connected to Antarctica at one point in time, although then there would have been two or three kilometers of ice above us. It's really interesting to think about as you walk along the trail. There are two ways you can go here. I recommend going straight up this hill if you're up to it. It's got an incredible view of the area and it's really worth it. We're now entering an area that's called the amphitheater, and I think you'll see why. It looks like a giant bowl, or a theater really, that's been cut out of the earth. And this would have been filled by a glacial lake millions of years ago. In addition to its natural beauty here, this is also an amazing archeological site with evidence of some of the earliest Aboriginal settlements in Australia that date back 40,000 years. This evidence includes some 1,700 large stone tools that were found near the coast here. Then you could walk across to Kangaroo Island due to the low sea levels. This area is also a place of cultural and spiritual significance to the Ghana people. It's mentioned in many of ancestral stories that refer to seven freshwater springs south of Adelaide and down the coast, with one that's most likely located very close to here near Waterfall Creek. This spring is and was surrounded by a number of campsites, both very ancient and more recent. Here we are at the Sugarloaf, which is an incredibly distinctive feature of Hallett Cove. The unique red color here would have been caused by iron oxide. You can also see what are distinct layers. The dark red layer at the base of the Sugarloaf was formed by sediments left behind by the glacial lake whereas the middle white layer consists of light-colored sands that replace the ice when the glacier melted away about 280 million years ago. And at the very top of the sugar loaf, you'll notice another change in color that was formed by the topsoils carried by creeks and rivers from the surrounding land and from the Mount Lofty Ranges. Millions of years of erosion would have shaped these landscapes, creating features that we see today. This cycle of erosion still continues today as soils are eroded from the land and blown into the sea. Well, this has been such an amazing hike today. We've taken in the incredible scenery. We've flown the drone and taken some fantastic pictures. And now, perfectly, we've got a nice cafe here. 
and I hope you'll join me for some lunch as we celebrate this wonderful day.